What's up everyone? This is me, Sean. Today guys, we are going to be playing What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today we are playing Taken by the Lego Guy, and this is basically a nice adventure map that I wanted to go ahead and play beforehand, and I forgot to do the intro like this. Aw, missed, missed opportunities here, guys. Missed opportunities. Uh, but yeah, I was going to play this a while ago, and I decided not to post what came out of it, uh, because it was a little boring, I didn't have much energy, and I tried playing the whole thing all the way through, and this is the reason why I'm not going to do this all in one sitting. It is two to three hours of gameplay. I'm going to be playing, like, the first maybe half hour of this tonight, because it's, it's getting late, let's, let's face it. So, I'm going to be playing a little bit of this tonight. A little bit of this another day, and a little bit uh, another another day. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and clarify that now so that my energy levels don't seem really random and different because they're, 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 they're going to be different. They're going to be different days. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that. So, now we will do the reading of the rules. All right, so now we have the rules here. Please read all before you continue. Single player only. All right, that's all, that's all good for me. Plain adventure mode. Yellow blocks with buttons are checkpoints. You mean like a this guy? I think it means like a this guy. They are checkpoints. Don't forget to press the button if you see a yellow block. If you miss some dialogue, press T to see the recent dialogue. Set difficulty to normal or harder. It's normal, good. No spawning items, no mods, no cheating, all the good stuff. And most importantly, have fun. I'd love to see your Let's Play video. Tweet me at CotterCat217. All right, guys, so all the links, the download link for this map, uh, this guy's link, they will all be in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get right into this. All right. So checkpoint, click the button. Good. Checkpoint saved. So it looks like we're in a mine of some sort. So let's, oh, that was, that was not okay. I don't appreciate you falling in my face. All right. So we're going to climb out of this mine, I guess. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I should not fall off the ladder like that. And there are dragon noises. Why are there dragon noises? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I forgot to turn something on, guys. I'll be here. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. I am back. I am here. My face is here up at the top right corner just to let you guys know that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue this map. And yeah, I hope to actually make my content sort of more energetic because I have noticed that I have not been as energetic lately as I, as I was before. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and wanted to add a little bit more energy to it, you know? So, I'm not going to be going for that long tonight again. And, uh, yeah, let's see what's up here. It looks like, or not looks like, it sounds like a dragon. Do we have Dargon? I do not see a Dargon. I am thoroughly disappointed because there is no Dargon. Okay, what do we have here? We have, welcome to Mount View. Very nice, very nice. All right. And, oh, oh, there's my dialogue. <gasps> no! No, my village, my family. Okay, uh, that's 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 a shame, but that is a crying shame. It's it's really a shame. Yeah. All right. So let's see what's in here. We have a skeleton. We have a compass. I'm gonna take that compass. Uh, nothing else in there. Good, good. I'm not gonna take anything else other than this compass. And father, help, help! I'm in here. I'm gonna gonna give him that voice, I guess. All right. Hi. Son, in here. Father, what's happened here? You're bleeding. <laughs> it was ter- oh, hold on. It was terrible. A dragon and his minions attacked. They looted our village, set it on fire, and carried away our townspeople. My wife. My son. I'm sorry, son. They were taken away. We tried to fight back, but they were too strong. Where did they go? I will find them. They were headed up. They were headed out of the village towards the dragon's lair up in the high snowy peaks. I need to go. I need to catch them before they get away. Son, you cannot fight their army all by yourself. There are too many of them. Not anymore. No. All right. So, what? What? What other dialogue? I have no choice. They've taken everything from me. It's all gone. I must fight using my my certain set of skills. I know, son. Search for any supplies you can find in the town. When you're done, go out to our hunting cabin. In the cabin, you'll find supplies that will help you remember how to get there, right? Follow the path out of the town up to the snowy mountains. Son, 
I don't think I'm going to make it. Okay. Lovely. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's lovely. Okay, taken. All right, we're going to get right into the map here. No no nonsense. And Fraps has started recording at 30 frames. Why was Fraps? Fra Fraps is drunk, guys. Fraps is drunk. I don't know what it's doing right now. It's not It's not doing good things. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this bread. What else we got in here? We got nothing in there. All right, so I guess I'm just going to the hunting cabin. All right, sounds uh, easy enough. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's chests. Lots and lots of nothing in these chests, too. I'm not a big fan of that. I like lots of things in my chests. You know, because usually chests are full. And uh, they have goodies in them. My shop. All my life's work. They've taken everything. All right. So, do you have anything useful in here? Uh, no, you do not. All right. Well, time to go. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess that this is the place I need to go. Yes, there's dialogue. All right, the dragon will pay for this, for what he's... Oh, sorry, the dragon will pay for what he's done. I will have my revenge. Ooh, all right, so we're going to strike out against the dragon, and we're going to defeat the dragon. I don't know why I've become Scottish, but I am. I don't know what that means. All right, so hopefully this hunting cabin has some weapons. Maybe, maybe some armor, too. Some armor would be very nice. I would love some armor, and uh, that that's that's a nice little waterfall. Okay, so <laughs> don't know why I paused to see that. I just did. All right, so oh, we got some pumpkins. That's very nice. I like some pumpkins. I really do. And that is a that's a big world, and that is a ship over there. Ah, oh, I want to go see the ship. It doesn't look like it sailed recently, though. I don't know. All right. So let's see what we have in the cabin. We have anything of use. Uh, we have a stone sword, some food, very, very nice, and some armor. Oh, no, let me have the armor. All right. Okay, let's get some armor. No, no, let me have the armor. There we go. Boom. All right. Now we have all the armor. We have the stone sword. And uh, is there anything else here besides a view? I mean, look at that view, guys. Wouldn't you just, wouldn't you just love to have a cabin with that view? Up in the snowy mountains. I would love to have one. Honestly. That would be, be pretty, pretty cool. But you know, I don't have one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on. Alright, let's uh, click that shut. And, uh, oh, we have a chest which has nothing up here. Very, very nice. Uh, what do we have over here, though? Do we have a chest with something? Yes, a golden carrot. Because golden carrots are amazing. Alright. So anything else here? Probably not. Nope. All right, that looks like that's everything from the cabin, besides a view. Because, you know, views are pretty cool. Especially of that pirate ship over there. That's what it looks like, anyway. I want to go see the pirate ship here. Hopefully we will. Hopefully we can. All right, so I guess we'll just continue on the path to the Dragon's Lair, because that's uh, probably where we're going. All right. Hmm. Hmm. It feels like I'm going the wrong way. Does it now? Oh, there is there is another way over there. Okay, very nice. Oh, Dragon's Lair Head, beware. That is where I'm supposed to go. Very nice, very nice. All right, so I'm just going to go down this path, and now we are going to the Dragon's Lair, which is the right way to go, and I am having trouble rolling my R's properly, so I'm not going to actually roll them. So I have a feeling that this isn't going to end too well, or this is a really short map. I do not know. No unwelcome visitors allowed. S All right, so if this is the dragon's lair, he's about to pay dearly for what he's done. All right, well, you know, cool. That's, that's all cool. Uh, I just got to kill this, this zombs here. There we go. The zombs done. Discord, you need to shut up. I did hear Discord. I did not turn it off like I should have. All right, let's press that checkpoint. A saved. All right. So what do we have in here? We have an end crystal. Uh... I can't destroy it because I can't reach it. Okay, okay, okay. We have a treasure room in there. Oh, where are you? Come out and fight me. All right. And these are some cells. Do we have some prisoners of war? Uh, or just prisoners, but they don't have to be of war, I guess. Okay. Okay. Doesn't it look like there are any prisoners in here? Uh, oh, 
Hello, zombie dude. Oh, there's a prisoner in there. I will read your dialogue in a second. I just have to take care of, uh, blinky, bl blingy pants here. I don't know. I was gonna try to come up with a clever name. It just didn't, didn't turn out right. All right, what does he say? Was that you all doing? All the yelling? It'll do you no good. The dragon's gone. He gathered up all his prisoners and took them away. Where did they go? It, so <clears throat> it sounded like they were going to a place called The End. Have you heard of it? I don't know what accent I'm doing for this guy. <laughs> oh, I hope this isn't really bad. I hope I'm not offending anyone right now. It's, 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 okay. Hey. Hey. Um, ha. Everyone knows The End is just a fairy tale. Other dimensions and whatnot. A tale to scare young children. Where did they really go? Hey. <clears throat> Wrong voice. Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard the guards whispering about. I have no reason to lie to you. Wait a minute. Why are you still here? Why didn't you get taken with all the other prisoners? I am an old man. I have been I have been rotting away in the cell for nearly forty years. I barely ha barely have enough to live in me to get out of bed. This. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say like, wait. He's only 40 years old. No, but he, he's been in that cell for 40 years. Okay, I got you, but I got you. They said, they said they can't use me for what they're doing. Well, what are they doing? They didn't say. All I know is that they took the prisoners down to the prison docks to be taken to the end. I hope this is, I hope this accent's not really bad. I'm just trying to come up with a, a different voice for this guy so you can distinguish, all right? And a fun voice. It's a fun voice, all right? If I am to believe you, and the end is real, how do I get there? I have never been, but there's an old wizard named Notch who can help you get there. Well, where do I find him? There's a back exit of this prison, <laughs> prison through the iron door over there. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Go through the door and follow the path past the prison docks. And past the lighthouse. The first house you come to is Notch's good luck. I hope that wasn't a really racist accent. <laughs> okay, jail key! Yay! Let's break out of jail. Alright, thank you for your information, but I will be off now. Uh, please place key above. Boom! Alright. You. It's locked. There must be a key around here somewhere. Well, I already found the key, me, okay? So just quit your whining. Alright, checkpoint numero dos. Alright, so we are heading over to probably that house right there, which is supposedly not just house, which I, I need to need to ask him why he sold his share of Minecraft. I don't know why he did that, but he, he did. Or I guess he, he sold part of his share of Minecraft, I guess. I don't know. I need to know this. These are the important questions and they must be asked, okay? I must know why he did that. I don't know. Alright, so... I guess, is it going to be this lighthouse? Is it, is it the lighthouse? I can't remember. Uh, I think it might be the lighthouse. Hmm. Let's check, let's just check out the lighthouse and see what's uh, going on down here. Hello? Uh, I have an itchy beard. I am a, a wandering traveler in need of some magical assistance. Do you have said assistance? Can you assist me? There's no one here. Okay. Well, that, that's underwhelming. <laughs> that's a little underwhelming. All right. Boom. All right. So let's go up here and check this little house up here. Let's see what this hut has to offer besides a map, which I can already see. There's a map. There's a map, and I can see myself in it. And then there's another map. And Is there a pig in here? <laughs> Is there a pig? Oink. Like, I don't know. Alright, well, there's me again, just slightly more zoomed out. I didn't do that. Alright, and then we have some melon and some chicken, which is going to be some very delicious uh, food. Alright, and I guess now we are going to the uh, orange house over here. Alright, let's head over to the orange house and see what Notch has to say about our journey. I have nothing else to say until we get there. <laughs> Oh man, that's always a problem with uh, commentating for me. I just never know what to say. I don't, and then I I stop and I get less less energetic because you know you use up energy as you go. 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm blabbing on about, but we have checkpoint number three, and we are at Notch's house. All right. Oh, that is not creepy at all. Uh, you have something coming out of your mouth there, bud. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Notch. How can I help you? Aww. Oh, thank goodness, you're home. My family, my townspeople, were kidnapped by the Aww. evil dragon and taken to the end. I was told you knew how to get there. That's terrible. Aww. But the end is a place of pure evil. It is a place you do not simply go without a large army to protect you. Even then, the possibility you wouldn't there's a, even then you possibly still wouldn't make it out alive. I do not know how to read my lines. But I must go. I must save my family. Take my advice. Forget about the end. And if the dragon really did take your family, forget about them too. Listen to me. I will do whatever it takes to save my family. I will die to save them, if I have to. That's very brave of you. But even if I want to help, you and I, you, you, I couldn't... The grammar. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit here. I'm sorry. You see, you need an end portal to get to the end. Go figure. And I don't have one. You're a wizard. You must know someone who has one. I'll travel any distance. Just tell me where I need to go. Fine. You need to go to Blueport and see the governor. <clears throat> he. All right, I'm just going to speed read this. I hear he has some sort of dealings in the end and has access to an end portal. See the governor in Blueport? How do I get there? Go down to my dock. Take a boat. Follow the water until you see a tall ship in the harbor. There, you will find Blueport and the gover me, uh, governor. Cover me. <laughs> Boy, I think I have dyslexia. I don't know. Thank you, Notch, for your help. It does mean a lot. Before you go, if you really are serious about battling a dragon, go upstairs to my library. In the chest, you will find my notes from an ancient manuscript our elders wrote back when they first banished the dragons from this land. You may, help, you may find it helpful <laughs> if you do make it to the end. Oh, man, I butchered that so, so bad. All right, well, you know what? We have some pretty sweet gear waiting up here for us. So let's go ahead and let's check out what gear we have. We have a book and an apple. Apples are pretty good, you know, especially if they're golden. All right, what, what do you got in here? No, nothing. What about you? Nothing. All right, well... Let's go ahead and let's read the manuscript here, and I think that's going to be it for the first part here. So, how to slay dragon... Oh, sorry. How to slay a dragon. Notes. Dragons recharge life from end crystals atop large obsidian pillars. Destroy all end crystals so the dragon cannot heal itself. Arrows work well to destroy the crystals from long distances. When a dragon lands, take advantage and stay behind it to chop at its feet with your sword. Avoid the dragon's poisonous breath at all costs. The dragon surrounds himself with endermen. Do not look into their eyes or you will anger them. Arrows are your friend. I was going to say best friend, but that's not what it says. Be sure to make to take many arrows with you to the dragon. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for this video. My mouth is starting to get dry, and it's getting pretty late. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you want more, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, hit that big old red subscribe button for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.